in the end. Toastmaster Dian, in the end. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the meeting. Am I audible and visible to everyone? Yes. You are it was six years ago during holiday season when I worked in hotel in Bali. I was walking in the evening and almost finished my work. I come to the lobby and I look, it was full with the guests who come from different countries. I saw someone sitting on the sofa. He was a middle-aged man and he came with his family. When I look around, all my friends and staff were busy with another guest. So I decided to approach him. Good evening, sir. How may I help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm waiting for check-in. Oh, all right. May I have your passport, sir? Sure, this is my passport. Thank you, sir. Please wait a moment. Let me double check first. I tried to see his name for guest arrival on the day, but I couldn't find it. So I turned our evidence to him. Thank you for waiting, sir. But I'm so sorry I couldn't find it, your name on guest arrival today. Do you use the same name when you book the rooms? After saying this word, his reaction was changed. He looks upset and his tone was higher. Ma'am, are you serious? Yes, sir. I already checked carefully. <laughs> That's impossible. Okay, if you cannot find it, I will book the room now. Do you still have room available today? Uh, I'm so sorry, sir, because we are facing high season now in Bali. So all room in our hotel already fully closed. What's in sense? This is very big hotel and you have over 400 rooms here. I couldn't believe that you even don't have any one room that available to me. You lies to me like, you don't want me to stay here. You don't like me. He was so furious and upset. I tried to calm him down and ask help from one of my other teams. I pick up the phone call and I had conversation with someone behind the phones and I shared the story what's going on at that moment in the lobby. From there, I found out what's happened and what's going on behind the screen and also the latest situation during the season. I returned to him. Excuse me, sir, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what happens to me. And now, we already have the room for you. And the room is ready now, and this is the room key. Here is my college, Adi. He will escort you and your family to the rooms. I hope you have a pleasant stay and good time during your stay in this hotel. He took this key, but before he leaves, he pointed me. What is your name? Diane, right? I will remember you and I will make sure you will already pay for this. I was totally shocked, but this is not the first time I encounter difficult guests during my work. It doesn't matter who have who, who has who makes the mistake behind the screen or behind the office. I've learned as one liner and the first impression of the hotel, I have to be ready for any complaint and any storm that's come to me. Before I leave the hotel, I check his profile and I noticed he was coming for a special occasion. It was wedding anniversary and two days after that, it was his son's birthday. So I suspect that this case must be frivolous because this occasion. I had an email and shared the detail of the said the detail about this patient and I sent to the whole teams and my boss. After a few days, I was working in the morning. I met him again on his departure day. But at the time, he looked, he looked so much different. His face, he looked so fast, calm, and happy. And when he looked at me, he was smiling. Wow, that's you again. <sighs> this is karma. When I arrived in the hotel, I met you. And now I am leaving soon. I still meet you before the departure. Dian, I'm so sorry for what have happened on the team. Do you know, Dian, before I come to Bali, I booked a villa in Wombok's Awards. 
but I heard there was natural disaster and earthquake in Mongols. My villa that I booked, it was on that location. I lost a lot of money and I couldn't get my money back. I was so disappointed because I traveled for a very long time for this holiday. I'm saving a lot of money for this and I want to make my family happy. When you come to me and you say there is no room available, I was panicked and I blame all the things on you. I'm so sorry then and I hope you can forgive me. I was so much safer after I heard that. I thought the day when he leaves the hotel, it will be in the end of my work. Hello, Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen. When someone blames you for something, you may feel sad and unfair. But the real issue, it might be not comes from you. They may have personal or other problem. When they meet you, it might remind them of that experience. If you feel you are not making any mistake, don't doubt yourselves. Let them to let them give them, give them time to clear their mind and calm their emotion. Stay calm and be patient. It doesn't matter how hard and painful you feel inside. The truth will reveal and come out in the end. Back to you, Tosmas Abdomedev.